I'm a young principal at this very difficult, challenging school, and I inherit this young man that was kicked out of one of the neighboring schools. And when I got this student, the former principal at the other high school said, it's not so much the kid you need to worry about. Well, he's difficult, but his dad's really difficult. Not too far into our journey, this young man becomes very difficult for a teacher. She does a remarkable job at using the, the skills that, that she developed and that we'd worked so tough on with the student, but it, he wasn't going to turn his behavior around. Then I gave it a good effort, and it kept escalating. It got to the place where we had exhausted what we could do with the student. And he is walking up and down the hallways, throwing things into classrooms, disrupting the entire school. And at that point, we have to make a decision to not lose the whole day for the rest of the students. So we were able to get him to come outside, and I told him I would have to call the police or his father and have one of them come to help us get this resolved and to take him home for that day. Well, the dad comes uh, about 30 minutes later, and he says to me on the phone, this is costing me money because he's having to leave work. Well, he shows up, and it looked like a stereotypical scene from a movie, but I'm standing in front of the building. Now, the student had managed to be very disrespectful and stand about 20 feet in front of me and spit on the ground the entire time until he had a puddle about this big. And the dad jumps out of the pickup and comes to me, and the dad decides to have the discussion about three inches from my nose. And so I start to explain to him, and I was able to explain the process that the teacher did, step by step, of how she tried to help him, and he wouldn't work with her. Then I was able to explain the process, step by step, what we did in the office. And by the time I got to the third person that had done this process with the student, the dad quit looking at me like this and turned around to his son and said, what is wrong with you? These people did these things, and you still acted like that? So many times we don't have a process that can get the parents to join our team and understand what we're really trying to do to help their son or their daughter.